Hello, this is Justin Griffin. Um, editing some videos with my latest band I'm playing with um, called Sugar Daddy. I'm here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm not the main drummer, I'm the backup drummer, but um, I'm enjoying it. Um, reason for me doing this commentary, I was going to originally just post this video up uh, by itself, but then I was playing around my iMovie here on my Apple and I saw this microphone icon and I clicked on it and I found out that I could record myself talking and doing commentary and stuff over movies so um, that's cool I always want to do commentary and stuff like that so I'm fooling around with this and see how it works out maybe I'll do some more commentary on some of my other videos um, I'll repost this this video or this song up without the commentary so you can hear the difference um, this song is called Sweet Child of Mine. It's from my very first gig with Sugar Daddy, um, which actually happened to be a private gig in the hills of Morgan Hill. So, um, it was fun. Um, it was some rough spots, but got through it. Um, I'm getting better as I play with them more and seeing how they do things and how they play some different uh, my approach with this song as along with any other song is I try to play as close to the original as possible or possible and um, But the bass player who is also the musical director had to he's doing a different pattern than the original song And so I'm trying to follow his lead um, I'm so used to playing in bands where they they tell well they let me do what I want to do and um, versus with Sugar Daddy um, I'm not necessarily told what to do, but um, they have a, a ideal, or the musical director has an idea of what he wants to hear. Um, this drum set I'm using is a, uh, is a Pearl Rhythm Traveler, and um, it's a sm small set, which is very hard, or the reason why it's very hard to hear my bass drum. I didn't have a, a real bass mic on top of that, but I, didn't, I have to work with what I have. <laughs> Somebody want to sponsor me, um, I'll be happy to take your money. <laughs> got the camera right on the hi-hat side which the guitar player was right next to me as well so that's why you hear more guitar and the singers and the bass and stuff plus the speakers that the um well the speakers period was far in front of me so um it's kind of hard to hear the singers you can hear them in the background but you just can't hear it clearly And by the time we played this song, it was in the, it was in the towards the end of the second set. I I finally worked most of my lures out. Like I said, this was my first gig with Sugar Daddy, and I wasn't nervous anymore. So I started playing the way that I, I'm usually capable of playing when I feel the music, which is um, very unusual when I'm sober. <laughs> I'm not saying I have to get drunk and have alcohol before playing, but usually like get some drinks and my um, I'm. I'm really comfortable, so to speak. <laughs> Just ask some of my other bandmates of the other two bands I play in, they'll tell you. This is the guitar solo club coming up right here by Aaron. Phenomenal guitar player. I also kind of let loose in this section, from this section on. My, one of my favorite drummers, John Blackwell, started to come out at me. You'll see what I mean later on. A little bit later on. There you go, right there. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I was living in the moment, that's all I gotta say. It, it was funny because I started to play this whole section without, without thinking. And I guess I that's how I should approach everything from now on just play without thinking, and then it come out naturally. I was hitting the, that the symbol by my splash symbol that's by my hi-hat. I was actually hitting that symbol so hard throughout the whole night, or at least through this song, this symbol starting to move over towards my hi-hat. And if you pay attention to that symbol thing, you can actually see it jump up jump up in the air a couple of times when I hit it.
I was supposed to hit the sneer there, but I ain't, I couldn't remember. <laughs> That's one of the messy parts, but if I play this song again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't mess up there. And some more John Blackwell for you right there. This, of course, at this song, or at this point in the song, it's at the climax, so I just pretty much let go and went ahead and just played. And right there I did some John Blackwell stick curling, but you can't see because the camera's so low. So hopefully next time I record myself, I'll tilt the camera up more. And this part was kind of hard for me because um, I was I'm I'm used to having I'm used to playing with bands that lets me decide when to end the song. But at this point, I had to wait till the the bass player, which is the music director, tells us to stop. So I was just starting his cymbals and trying to do all kinds of fancy rolls and show off and stuff. <laughs> So to speak. And there you go, me playing Sweet Child of Mine with Sugar Daddy. <laughs> 